Yeah, we, we adopted a bit earlier, of course. Uh, I think it was 2017 or 18 that we um, decided to uh, buy some more RP3s because we I think we had two of them standing around somewhere in Amsterdam, uh, but no one was really using them. And then at some point we decided to incorporate them a bit more and then also at first only in the summer. And uh, that's when we found out that if you do a, uh, uh, sorry, if you're full in the summer mode, but then there's too much wind or something else that which doesn't allow you to go out in the boat, then you can still do a pretty decent uh, test on an RP3. And, uh, and we were used to that you had to switch, uh, that you had to get used to the indoor rowing uh, motion a bit more uh when, when you're doing this on a static earth but uh, with rp3 the it was more seamless to transition so that's uh, when the coaches decided at some point okay well um we're just gonna switch everything and then we do all the tests on the indoor uh, row machine we do everything on the rp3 and uh and we had to build like a database and to see okay what is a good score on rp3 and uh, uh but now that we've transitioned it's it's not really a problem anymore